Tell yes. us how the brain waves play into this for digital decision making. Well, so what we're doing is we're looking, we're backing up to the brain activity that's relevant for how players do the remarkable things they do on the field, whether it's hit a baseball, um, decide to rush through a line of scrimmage, whatever it is. And so we're using EEG, that's electroencephalography. So that measures electrical activity of the brain and it's measured through the scalp. So we put a cap on a player, we show them a bunch of pitches on a video game and they got to recognize different kinds of pitches, fastballs, curveball sliders, or they got to recognize balls and strikes. And meanwhile, we're making brain measurements on the order of 250 times a second, and we're analyzing that data to find out when they decided that a given pitch was a curveball or wasn't a curveball, or they thought it was a ball or they thought it was a strike. So like I just came back from today, uh, today from Florida, where we were working with a major league team doing this, last week with a couple other teams in Arizona during their fall instruct leagues. And so explain how, it, so you sit a player down at the direction of his team, both of which shall remain nameless, and then by having him with his cap on react to a video game, you are creating data that may affect this player's career because you're going to, in effect, stack the players to see what the reaction time is to a particular player in a particular sport. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it is an assessment, you know, level to it, but it's also, you know, because this is something we're measuring here that, you know, is colloquially talked about in baseball, you know, when a guy sees a ball, when he decides it's a strike, when he doesn't decide it's a strike. I mean, because we're measuring something that's so novel in, in baseball, for example, um, it's, uh, it has the potential, I think, to be an incredible training tool because, you know, I mean, right now, I mean, we, we, we showed this to a minor league hitting coordinator last April at extended spring training. And, uh, you know, he, he was, he was, you know, kind of awestruck that you can measure pitch recognition on a neural level, even before a batter moves. Okay. And so right now the kind of cues they look for are, you know, a player lunging out over the plate or something. Right. But even that lunge right there, that's a physical response that had a neural antecedent to it. And many times you're not even seeing that physical response. So yes, there is an assessment element to this, but there's also a tremendous training potential of it because now you're able to uh, train particular aspects of hitting a baseball that you just didn't have access to before.